Hey beautiful people, it's Sunshine Step Mompreneur, your stay-at-home mompreneur success coach. And today I'm really talking to my stay-at-home mompreneurs uh, to help jumpstart your business or take your business to the next level, wherever you are in your business. But I want to talk to you about the best websites that you should have for your business. I've been doing this type of work since I was 19 years old when I joined my first network marketing business and just trying to figure out ways that people can come to me. Always wanted to have a professional appearance in the marketplace so that my potential clients and customers can learn more about me and learn more about what I do. And I just always felt like a website was a great way to do that because so many people are on the internet. Everybody's always searching for things and searching for ways to connect or find certain businesses or certain products that they may be looking for. So I just, in the back of my mind, even at that age, just knew that that was was something that I needed to be doing. So I've spent countless hours, I mean countless hours, staying up until the wee hours of the morning trying to create websites, trying to put together capture pages, trying to um, find ways to connect with my, my audience. And so uh, I've come to realize now the best type of website that, that mompreneurs or anybody really in business needs to be having for their businesses. Okay, so I'm going to go through that really quickly. I already have uh, the pictures of the different types of websites, and they may look familiar to you. They may be, maybe they don't. Maybe you think they're exactly the same, like what's the difference? But I'm about to go through that right now. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some really great resources that you can use to take advantage of um, getting the best website for you as a stay-at-home entrepreneur. So on the left, we have a traditional website. It's a static website. They call it static website, static page, or whatever. So I'm going to write that at the top just so we can stay focused and keep track. All right, so this is a static website. And this is what a lot of businesses um, typically have for contacting or for sharing information with their potential customers and clients. So you have like the, the bar at the top right that has it usually says home or about us or about me uh, maybe a few other things they may be like a picture gallery or uh, let's say that it's a I don't know a massage school you may have something at the top that says pricing or scheduling or availability something like that and then uh, usually a, a place that you can contact that person or that business for more information or to set an appointment or whatever it is and so you have that bar at the top then let's say this is the home page usually you might have a picture or video here you have a little snippet about um, about whatever the picture or video is or whatever your site is about whatever your business is about and then maybe another picture and a snippet here with the call to action telling people to check out one of the other pages check out our our services that we offer then that person would be led to the top the top bar click on services to see that this person offers Swedish massage deep tissue massage whatever now I want to massage <laughs> okay but yeah so that's typically how a static web page works all right then you have the blog all right blogs right they're not static Blogs are constantly being updated. If you're a good blogger or a regular blogger, I won't say a good blogger, but if you blog regularly and you're constantly updating your content, that's what a blog does. I mean, it's not static. It's constantly moving. It's constantly, you know, providing new information to the search engines. So you have search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, things like that, right? And they're crawling. They have these... Um, the software, whatever they use, that crawls the internet. It crawls different different pages. So let's say you have a blog about success tips, giving success tips for uh, stay-at-home moms and for mompreneurs, right? And I'm constantly writing content, or that person is constantly writing content, sharing videos, things like that to help mompreneurs and to help stay-at-home moms or just the content is always related to that market there's always something that a stay-at-home mom might be interested in or a stay-at-home mompreneur might be interested in on this page so you're constantly every day you're updating or every week or every month however often you post you're updating your page every single day or every single week or every single month 
Whereas with the static page, you're not doing that. You create the content and it just stays there and you drive traffic to that page either through your business card, through social media, like posting your links on Facebook, Twitter, um, things like that, or even paying ad, paying for advertising on the search engines so that your site will, will rank up at the top in the ads bar on the side page of the search engines so that people can find you. And the only time you really would update this is if something changes, if your contact information changes, if your business name changes, your location changes, something like that, and you will update your static page. Now, which one of these do you think is the best type of website for a stay-at-home entrepreneur? All right, I'll tell you. It's the blog. The blog. Why is it the blog? Because the information is fresh. Search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, they want fresh content because they also have an audience that they're catering to and people go to those sites to search for information and they want the latest information they want the most up-to-date information they want the most accurate information so when you can position yourself to uh become an expert in your field or whatever it is that you're um promoting whatever your message is and you're constantly providing information to the search engines on a daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis however often you're doing it but on a regular consistent basis then the search engines say wow this person must be an expert at this field this person is showing that they're an authority authoritative figure or authority in this field because they're constantly providing us with fresh information, new information on a regular basis regarding success tips for mompreneurs. So when people search certain terms in this website on our search engine, we're gonna make sure that this person ranks a little bit high up or maybe on the first page or the second page or the third page so that people can see this information because we want to keep our searchers happy. We wanna keep our audience happy. and We wanna provide them with the best content the, the freshest, newest content, and from the best people who know what they're talking about. So that's what a blog can do for you. Now notice the difference between how the blog and the static website look. They, they have similar features, but the static website is just blocked. It's just there. You have your footer, you have your banner at the top, and then again, you have that, that uh, search bar. Then you have the blog here. You also have your search bar, you have your footer, you have your banner up at the top. But then you also, along the sides, you have an area, hey, we're making a video. You have an area here where you can monetize your blog. You can put ads over here. You can capture leads like this box here. I'm sure you've been to a blog before you've seen something like it. There'll be a box here where they might say for more information or to join my newsletter or for more tips, whatever input your information and click the link and you'll join the newsletter or whatever so you can capture people's information you can um share more information you can have the categories that you share or talk about on your blog on a regular basis you can have that here so people can easily navigate your site and they can find what they need they don't need a, a bar up at the top necessarily to find anything although you can provide one that links people maybe to to things that might be of interest to them or just to anything that you might want. Like you could put a social media bar up here linking people directly to your Facebook or your Twitter or your Instagram accounts right up at the top, a way for them to contact you. You can share resources. Um, so resources that people who are coming to your blog might be interested in. You could include affiliate products or links or anything in your resource section so that you're also monetizing your blog that way as well. Now down here, you see the big money sign. That would be something like an ad. And there's some people, they blog often, they blog on a regular basis, daily basis. And because of that, and, and because of, of Google and the search engines, seeing them as authorities in their field, they have other people who contact them and say, hey, can I place an ad or a banner on your site? Because I see that it gets a lot of traffic every month. I see that you rank really high on the search engines and I just kind of want to get my message out in front of people who I think may be interested in this product or service that I have who are also coming to read your blog. So that's, that's the blog. And so this little box here, this would be what would be here. But this is constantly changing. So let's say you have a business and your location changes. Well, of course you would change it in the contact you section or contact us, contact me section, but then you might also want to write a blog post about it. It's kind of like a little mini press release. Like 
hey, we changed our location, come check us out. Now that you've pro provided fresh content on your blog so that your readers can come and say, oh, wait a minute, they're not over here anymore, they're now over here. And then the search engine will see that you've created some content, you've updated, and it's a win-win for everyone. You, the search engines, your, your readership, and the search engines, um, audience okay so hands down the best website for stay-at-home mompreneurs to have is a blog the best website for any business to have is a blog now again people are still used to the traditional websites the traditional look but I don't know if you've noticed like I have but many sites now a days stand up for one second many sites nowadays They'll still have, you know, I'm not saying they won't have an about me section or about us section, but I know that you've noticed that even on the static websites these days, there's a tab at the top for a blog. And when you click that tab, it will lead you to another section either within the website or another page entirely that is a blog for that particular business. And it may not necessarily be updated on a daily basis, but whenever they have fresh information or something new, then they update their blog. And what it does is it kind of creates a, a, something within your, your market where they're constantly coming to your website. They're constantly coming to see if you've provided fresh information. Thank you. Because they know that you have a site that you're updating on a regular basis. So they, they come to you more so than you having to put out business cards and flyers and all these things to try to get all these people to come to you. The other component about blogging and about a blog, which I'm not going to get all into, I'm going to do other videos on that in the future, um, and I do have a, a post on it about, about it on my blog, is SEO, search engine optimization. So remember, the search engines love blogs because we're constantly updating them, we're constantly giving them fresh content to share with their audience, but... You can also optimize your chances of getting on the first page of Google or getting a top rank on any of the search engines. You can optimize that and it's called search engine optimization. And when you do that and you provide content, there's certain things that you do to, to kind of, it's like a formula that you follow. And when you do that within your blog post, it kind of helps get you ranked. So what does that mean? It means that if, if you're competing or you're, you're writing to get, let's say, to the first spot or the first page of Google for um, best pet salon in your area, right? You would find out what are people searching for? Are people searching for mobile pet salon, best pet salon, pet salon in uh, Milwaukee? What are they looking for? You can find that out. There's a tool. I did just do a, a video on that, so go look for that on how to use the, geek, the Google Keyword Planner to rank your pages or your website to the first page of Google. There's a, a video somewhere, um, if you look on my channel somewhere. Uh, but it, it shows you how to use that tool. It's called the Keyword Planner. And how to use it to find out exactly how many people are searching or how many searches that a certain keyword gets every single month. So you want to stay up in a certain number so that you're actually seeing, you know, okay, a lot of people are searching for this on a monthly basis. So let me write a blog post with those specific key terms. And now you have it on your blog. And when people search for it in the search engines, your blog shows up, your information shows up. Boom, you have a way to make money here. Boom, you have a way to make money here. And then you can even have a call to action in your actual blog post saying, so if you're looking for the best uh, pet salon in Milwaukee, give us a call. Or you can provide testimonials. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your site. It's your blog. Now, I did say that I was going to share a resource with you for uh, the best website that, you, that, you, that there is that you can have. And that resource, I'll provide the link below, but it's basically a blogging platform that is viral. It allows you to connect with other bloggers, other people that are blogging, who are likely to come and visit your blog and uh, share your blog posts with their market or other people, things that they might find interesting. Um, it, it's already monetized for you. Banners are already included on the site. You can change the picture, you can change the look, you can customize it to however you want it to look. But when you, when you get this blog, it literally is already set up for you. You don't have to go and look for backgrounds and 
set up your bar, nothing. It's already set up. But if you want to change it and customize it, it's so simple. It's just easy as a click of a button. And for me, it is the, the blogging platform of my choice, the blogging platform that I choose to use. It's viral, like I said. So, so many bloggers are using this platform that it ranks really high, not high, high or low, whatever, but it has a great ranking on Alexa.com. If you look that up, Alexa rankings. And um, that basically shows you where a, a website ranks in all the websites in the world and all the websites in the US. And we all know that Google ranks number one, uh, YouTube, I believe, is number three, and, and Facebook is number two. So um, this blogging platform, it's somewhere around like, I think a less than, no, I think it's in like the hundreds, actually, like low hundreds, like hundreds or two hundreds, something like that. But it ranks really well um, on Alexa.com. So it's the best type of website, I think, for stay-at-home entrepreneurs or anyone in business. That, again, there's going to be a link below where you can check the information out so that you can get your already made blogging viral system, plug and play, put in your information, and you're ready to go. All right, so I will that this was uh, helpful. Hey! I will that this was helpful for, for you as stay-at-home entrepreneurs and that um, you will highly consider having a blog for your business. Even if you're going to have a traditional website, include a blog tab and find a way to say hi. We're making a video. Hi, we're making a video. And and, um, excuse me. I'm talking. Have a seat. Thank you. We don't need your input. Thank you because you have no idea what I'm talking about. Just tell them hi and keep, them out. keep your mouth closed. All right? Thank you. This is Taylor, everyone. Check out Taylor's videos. You will know exactly why I asked her to keep her, keep her mouth closed because once it starts going, it doesn't stop. But she has some videos on this page too as well. She pulls out her own tooth and everything. Um, look. <laughs> and I know she's anxious to tell you all about that. But anyway, um, yeah, so again, blogs, 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 blogs. Even if you're going to have a traditional static page, include a blog and find a way to host it somewhere um, so that you're constantly giving fresh information and content to your readers, your customers, your clients. Because I promise you they will come back to see what's new. All right, so remember, you can have breakdowns or breakthroughs. The choice is yours. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Connect with me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, and especially Facebook. And if you want to work with me directly to get your blogging platform set up, um, to, to get more information about business, learn more SEO techniques and tips and strategies, go ahead and click the link below. There's a link below this video provided um, for you to do that. All right, this is Sunshine Step Mompreneur, and what's your name? Brian. They can't hear you. Brian. Brian and Taylor. And Taylor signing off. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.